Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Sprime PM1 mouse. This mouse currently comes in at $120, which makes it a more expens expensive offering in today's current market. So this mouse has a 3395 sensor. It comes in at approximately 45 grams. And this mouse is using a, a fiber composite material, as says on the website, but in hand just feels like a so it's only slightly different than a traditional uh, plastic mouse. So uh, let's start off with, uh, with with the shape. So this shape is obviously inspired by the G703. When this mouse was first teased, uh, they pretty much used the G703 as a part of their teaser. So they're telling everyone this is a G703 clone or inspired shape. But after using it, I feel like this is definitely more, a, more of a G703 uh, mini as uh, this mouse cup is a lot smaller and I feel like uh, even despite it being small I feel like it's, uh, it's missing certain aspects of the G703 shape itself because if you um, take a look at the G703 the side curvature here is actually more aggressive so when you rest your hand on your mouse your thumb it actually goes in more in it makes it feel more of an er makes it feel more ergonomic makes it feel better in hand personally for me but since the side here is not as aggressive it makes it feel sort of uh, flat so it makes it feel like a kind of more, you can make it feel like it's kind of a more fingertip grip, grip versus a uh, relaxed palm or claw grip to a mouse. So, and also the top here compared to the uh, original G703, the hump, I feel like the hump here is definitely a more a bit more flatter. And, uh, and the front here tilts a little bit less aggressively. So little things like that as of the mouse making it feel like, you know, kind of a bit different than G703 even though it is inspired by that mouse. So that's pretty much the only criticism I have of this mouse because actually the rest of the mouse, I've been really enjoying it. Uh, the build quality, extremely solid. No flexing, no creaking from this uh, material at all. No switch wobble, no switch grinding. My uh, scroll wheel and cutter feels great. Uh, mouse, mouse two here feels great. The left and uh, the, back, the forward and back click feels great for me too. I don't have any problems using those. I guess there is a slight gripe on uh, the switches. I feel like uh, this is using Armor um, Optical, so it's been used on uh, a number of mouse by now. And I, and I feel like this uh, implementation is definitely a, a bit stiffer compared to like the recent uh, mice that are coming out with this switch. So for example, the uh, Ninjaso Sora. Uh, switching on the Ninjaso is actually a lot lighter to use, and it feels a lot better. For some reason, in this uh, in this in this mouse in particular, I'm not sure about anyone else, but but in my copy here, the, the switch feels kind of more stiff. It's not to the level of a uh, Logitech's implementation of the switch, but it's still up there in terms of stiffness for me personally. Like when I'm trying to action, and uh, I feel like the switch consistency is a little bit off because as you get more front, it, it gets lighter, but as soon as you get towards like a little bit in the middle, it definitely becomes a lot harder to click compared to, to like uh, all these other front of the mouse. So for me, I, my, my fingers only go up to like about here. And this viewpoint usually where it gets like, you know, a slightly a bit stiff and uh, hard, harder to click. I mean, it's certainly it's something you know, you'll definitely get used to, but uh, you know, I think it's worth mentioning that uh, if you're looking for the lightest click that's out there, it's definitely not uh, this mouse. So another thing I have with the switches, other than that, there's nothing wrong with the switches, but yeah, I think those are the only things that I'll probably like they should improve in the later batches, make the clicks a lot more lighter, like the Ninjaso. Because I'm pretty sure these two masks are from the same factory, um, judging by like you know the coating, even the material feels really similar. So, like the coating here feels like one to one to Ninjaso. This is matte dry coating, is really grippy, I have nothing wrong with it, it feels great in the hand. And even the, uh, the bottom of the mouse actually looks like the Ninjaso. So, 100% sure th these are both part of the same factory. The only difference is that there's no DPI button on this mouse versus uh, the Sora here. Not that big of a deal. Oh, wait, there's also, it don't have a Play Store or dongle either. But I guess it doesn't matter because uh, the dongles for both these mice are quite big and you can't store them in there anyway. So, pretty much useless. And yeah, go back to the dongles. So, like the dongle for both of these mouse. Are identical. I mean, one is red, one is blue, but they're pretty much identical. But surprisingly, the Sora go up to 4K, 
and the Sprime can only currently go to 1k. It makes it really strange because uh, since both their dongles are the same and they're quite large, they're like about, let's say a USB stick large, I feel like uh, the Sprime should be able to go to 4k. But I guess uh, they're trying to upsell it by making buy the 8k dongle eventually that also comes with 4k, but yeah, $120, I expect this mouse to come with a 4k by default. Uh, other than that, those are pretty much only great, I think. So the rest of the mouse is, uh, is great, just like an adjusto. It's solid all around, no creaking, no flexing, as I mentioned before. Uh, this mouse has been enjoyably used, despite it not being a you know, complete one-to-one -one with the G703. It still feels extremely great. And I think the size of the mouse is more like a medium, maybe. Like a small to medium, not really a small mouse. Because uh, if I take out the Pulsar here, the Pulsar is actually still smaller, personally in hand. In hand, the Pulsar definitely feels a lot smaller, the x light V3 Mini here. It's more narrow, whereas this is more wide. But at the same time, it's definitely not as wide as the uh, Lambda Thorn here. Lambda Thorn here definitely feels uh, a bit wider in hand compared to uh, the Spine PM1. I feel, like the, I feel like the hump in the back area. It's where it makes a difference because as on, the on this prime here, it narrows down at the bottom, so there's less of a that palm. Uh, also, that the base of your mouse feels uh, less filled up in your palms compared to the thorn, as well as the side buns. The side buns are more low compared to the thorn as well. Traditionally, early on mouse um, some side buns are a bit higher up. This one are a bit lower, and. Uh, they feel fine, not hard to reach at all. And I actually like how the buttons here are matte, actually, because uh, some of these other companies have been using glossy. I mean, the thorn here isn't, but Majesto using glossy. Okay, maybe only Majesto. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I actually like the, the button buttons, matte, great. And I'm not sure about other people's copy, but the red version here comes with a uh, transparent bottom. And I think that's actually pretty cool. You can pretty much see inside the mouse, see how the PCB is uh, cut out and how uh, it is being hold, held on to the sides. And I have I've been having uh, no sensor issues in game. How however, I feel like there's a, there's like a bit of a startup lag when I use this mouse. So like when I first turn on my computer, or when this mouse falls asleep and I try waking it back up, there's like a bit of a stutter for the first couple of seconds of my copy here. I'm not sure about anybody else's experience, but uh. That's a little bit of a flaw right here, but it's not too big of a deal because once you're in game, uh, I don't feel any issues with it. But yeah, it's only when you start up your mouse the first time, actually, with a couple of seconds. I think they should be able to fix that in a software update. And speaking of software, uh, this mouse uses actually a web based uh, software program, so you don't have to download anything. So this is only like the, I think, the second mouse company that uh, been integrating a website based program besides uh, the final mouse. And uh, I've been using this, uh, this site, and I feel like it's definitely not as uh, smooth as Final Mouse's uh, web-based program. Because in this mouse, when I uh, restart the browser or restart my computer, it makes me like you know authorize my mouse again. It makes it connect to like the software again, and it does take a couple of refreshes on the site for me. So yeah, hopefully they get that fixed and make it more seamless. So every time I go to the site, the mouse is already recognized from the last time. But other than that, yeah, the site is uh, pretty much uh, has all you need. It has uh, macros, DPI levels, lift off distance, motion sync, uh, other settings. So yeah, so those are probably, that, that's pretty much it. So if you're looking for, personally, I think web is probably not that big of a deal for me because since uh, I usually only set the settings when I first get the mouse and probably never turn the program again. But, it, but I guess uh, some people find it like, you know, more convenient so I don't have to install anything, but personally not like a game changer for me personally. So like, I wouldn't think this program is like what makes or change the mouse for me personally. But yeah, overall, I feel like uh, the mouse is pretty good. It has no, I have no, pro no problems in game with it. And it's the only thing I guess a problem with it is the price at 120, I expect it to come with at least 4K because the rest of the market right now is at $99 and this is $20 more expensive. And you're basically stuck on 1K, just like the other mouse. And 
recently on Twitter, I saw Ninjutsu releasing their uh, Sora V2, and that's going to come with 4K and everything at $99. So, yeah, this is going to be a... It's a pretty hard market right now, so... There's, I feel like they should lower the price to like 99 eventually to get this mouse more popular, sell more, but or as of currently, the mouse is still great, but $120. You gotta make sure uh, this is the master type of mouse you're looking for. A light of 43 grams, kind of ergonomic mouse. But if you want to save some money, there's plenty of uh, mice under 100 right now that are, I pretty much have the same same sensor and same performance as this mouse, personally, for me. Like, when I'm like, there's a high speed and competitive mode in uh, on their website right now, but I tried testing the difference between those two, and I really can't feel a difference in game. So, so yeah, I think is a uh, yeah. Make sure you really just like the shape and the way this mouse <laughs> feels in hand before you buy it. But, so that's pretty much the end of the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, follow for more.